Yes, sir. Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about the other piece of drama that I didn't address in the last video, and that is what's going on with me, Kevin. All right, folks, but before we go ahead and get into the video, we have to make fun of the absolute stupidity of another YouTuber named Scott Schaefer. So I'm going to go ahead and play the video, and we're going to make fun of this guy together for just being a freaking idiot. All right, folks, you literally cannot make this stuff up. While I'm in the process of creating this video right here that you guys are looking at, I go on Scott's page. Page and guess what I discover? He just deleted that stupid me Kevin video he just put out. <laughs> I knew his followers couldn't be that stupid. I mean, for crying out loud. <laughs> he literally said in the video, me Kevin sold 100% of all of his stocks. Then he played the video where me Kevin says in the video, I only sold 99.15% of my stocks. But Scott still claims that he said in that video, he sold 100% of all of his stocks. Are we on a different planet here? Or is Scott just that dang stupid? <laughs> okay, so here we go. Phone on screen record. Let's go ahead and hear what this dummy has to say. Two things is a lie and we'll go over it. But I want to show you this clip from January where Meet Kevin admits to selling all of his stocks. Uh, I've sold 99.15% of my stocks and my entire crypto portfolio. Okay, pause. He literally says in a video, he doesn't say he sold all of his stocks like Scott Schaefer says. He said he sold 99.15% of his stocks. Keep in mind, the guy's got like $20 million dollars. That pretty much accounts for the amount of money that he promised everybody he would hold in AMC at that time in January of 2022. So Scott Schaefer is just a freaking idiot. Let's go ahead and keep going. Uh, of the cash that I have right now, I am 5.56% short. So in that clip, as you can see, Meet Kevin admits to selling his entire stock portfolio after... Okay, once again, guys, we have to laugh at Scott Schaefer together. I don't know if Scott Schaefer is that stupid or if he's just a scumbag. It's probably a mixture of both. But you have to be a true scumbag to, and your followers have to be true idiots for you to play an entire video. And the video literally says what Kevin literally said in the video. He sold 99.15% of his stocks, not 100%. 99.15% of his stocks. And then you follow up the video with the commentary saying that he sold 100% of his stocks, that he sold all of his stocks. You're either dumb, disingenuous, or just an outright scumbag. My bet is all three of them. Let's go ahead and keep watching the video. Just a few days before that saying he would never sell. He sold everything. Now I've gone over this in the past. I actually think he was margin called. That's just my opinion. I think that's why he sold most of his stocks, but he did admit to selling everything in January. Now in January, but he did not <laughs> admit to selling everything in January. That's the funny part. That's what makes this guy such a scumbag. You literally just played the video, you freaking idiot. He did not admit to selling everything. He sold 99.15% of his stocks. And again, I'm not defending me, Kevin. I'm just telling it like it is. You know, don't come out here and just outright lie just to make your video sound good. Because remember, Scott Schaefer's title of this video is Meet Kevin's Massive Lie to Everyone. However, when we actually watched the video, he didn't lie, at least on the part that Scott is talking about. Pretty disingenuous, man. It was nine months ago. He says in this tweet, uh, I bought AMC and I held it for 16 months and I sold it today. So those two things cannot connect. He can't say that he sold all of his stocks in January of this year and also again he didn't sell all of his stocks he sold most of his stocks like 99% but he didn't sell all of them yeah I remember me Kevin made a few videos after that talking about how he still holds AMC remember this is back in January 2022 now fast forward to right now yes he did finally sell uh his AMC it looks like uh but uh he did not do that in January so Scott Schaefer is just downright lying or just stupid. I don't know. So that's that. Once again, Scott Schaefer proves how much of a scumbag he is. Now, it's funny because my original video I was going to post today was actually going to be me going over the AMC ETF short allegations that are going against me, Kevin. But when Scott Schaefer released that stupid video, I had to react to that instead. So 
Uh, I decided to scrap that previous video and not really focus on that because those claims are bogus anyway. So they're not a whole lot for me to talk about anyway in that. I mean, I gave my opinion. But basically, I'll give you guys the, 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 the short version of the story. So basically, some guy on Reddit, it was on the AMC stock Reddit, uh, posted this this entire thread, this super long thread, basically tying me, Kevin, to this like short ETF. And basically all that's happening is, I guess one of the market makers he's doing business with uh, has ties to a short a, a short uh, AMC ETF as well. But that doesn't mean that Kevin has anything to do with that. That doesn't mean anything. Just because you're doing business with somebody that does business with other ETFs, whether they're short, long, whatever, and the short AMC ETF just happens to be one of the ones they're doing business with, doesn't mean that me, Kevin, signed off on that. Plus, let's be honest. You guys know I've made tons of videos on me, Kevin. I've been watching him for a while and everything just to talk bad about him, obviously. Uh, shorting is not his style. So most people who really understand like me, Kevin, and like what he normally does, the way me, Kevin, operates is, in my opinion, he grifts and he jumps on the bandwagon of uh, things and he takes advantage of it. In terms of the whole shorting thing, it doesn't even make sense. Why would you say you're going to hold AMC for an entire year, talk about all your channel, all this other stuff, and then go ahead and short it. So I think that those are bogus claims. Uh, he made a whole tweet responding to it. You know, you guys are free to check that out. Um, but yeah, it, it, it was a bogus claim. I don't think it's true. I don't think me, Kevin, intentionally shorted AMC and then told his followers to sell AMC. I don't think that. I think what happened was he just finally realized that AMC is garbage and holding that stock is stupid and he finally saw it. I don't know. Uh, but that's just my whole thing regarding that. Obviously, it's very controversial because uh, it got to a point where Kevin actually had to make an entire thread on his own Twitter account to defend himself. So it did gain a lot of traction. There are some pretty big uh, people on Twitter with pretty big followings who were like AMC apes who tweeted about it and basically accused Kevin of it. But to be honest with you, I think those claims are bogus. So anyway, the gist of this video is Scott Schaefer is an idiot. Once again, I keep telling you guys, eventually this guy is going to ex expose himself for the true scumbag he is. And one day you guys are going to see it. So there's that. And then, uh, yeah, I think that those claims against me, Kevin, are bogus. So there you guys have it. That'll go conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.